that we are never alone. So God, we bless your name and we ask that you will have an act with us and guide us through our worship we pray for Christ's sake. Amen. As we come before our holy God, let us pray the prayer of purity together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, then the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Giving online is easy. Your tithes and offerings can be transferred directly to the Providence Bank account. Our banking information is as follows. The name of the bank, National Commercial Bank, Branch, Matilda's Corner. The name of the account is Providence Methodist Church. The account type is checking and the account number is 371-007. 857 that's 371 007 857 
first Sunday in November is known as All Saints Day. And it is the time when we remember those of our members who passed on and who are no longer with us as members of the church militant on earth. They are now members of the church triumphant in heaven. And when we think of saints, and we say they are all saints, these who from their labors are resting, we need to remember that we all are saints, because saints does not refer only to persons who have died, but saints refer to those who are members of the faith. And we are saints, we are members of the church, militant on earth, as these persons whom we remember today are members of the church triumphant in heaven. So we give God thanks for the opportunity of saying thanks for the life of these saints who from their labors rest and may we be willing to ever be saints while we are here. Revelation 7, reading from verse 9 through to 17. After this I looked, and there was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white, with palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God, who is seated on the throne, and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, singing, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving 
and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these robed in white, and where have they come from? I said to him, Sir, you are the one that knows. Then he said to me, These are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason, they are before the throne of God and worshipped him day and night within his temple. And the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. They will hunger no more and thirst no more. The sun will not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of the water of life, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The second First John chapter 3, verse 1. See what God the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know okay. it. But that we are God's children now, and what we do has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this when He is revealed, we will be like Him, for we will see Him as He is. And all who have this name in him purify themselves just as he is pure. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The joy that came around the throne and body in heaven, thousands of children stand. It's number 656 in the Methodist. Jesus saw the crowds, he 
went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak, and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor, poor in spirit, and theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revive you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise be to Christ our Lord. One had great prospects 
or one who was a main drug dealer, an individual who was at the height of their potential, when such tragedies hit us, we cry, why? Why now? Why now? Why this person? And these cries ring from the bottom of our hearts and seem to be answered only by silence. The Apostle Paul, recognizing that we can become so focused on this earthly life that we treat it as the end all and be all of our existence. So we know that if as believers in Christ, we only have hope while we are in this mortal existence, then we would be of all people a most miserable lot. No doubt the Lord of people would advise us that you only live once, so we should do what pleases us, because when death comes, that's the end. That's the end of life as we wrote. But when God breathed into human being, we became living souls. This mortal body is corrupted, but our soul is eternal. No wonder that as the roof leaks, as storm winds blow against the structure, as the holes in the floor grow larger, and the foundation shakes, the apostle Paul declared, this mortal will put on immortality. This corruptible body will put on incorruptibility. Life here on earth has its ups and downs. So we are looking for a city not filled with hands. When those who depend on evidence attack our faith, when we declare we walk by faith and not by sight, it can surely shake our faith. Perhaps it is something to do us to whom John holds that those who believe in Jesus Christ have received power to become children of God. The writer follows this up by saying, We are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is that when Jesus is revealed, we will be like him, for we shall see him as he is. The world says, No. You only live once. But God's word says, Yo, yo, you only die once. And after death, the judgment. It is for this reason that the apostle gave the advice all who have this hope in Jesus Christ choose to purify yourselves as, as Christ is pure. Christ, who 
who are born long before have left loved ones behind who have not answered the question of where they will spend eternity. They have put in another voice. Make sure so we meet. Make sure so we meet on the judgment day. Many are put off coming before Almighty God and asking him to purify them and help them to live the life that will go beyond the grave. Forgetting the only that ones. We must come under the shadow of the Almighty so that we will have the assurance that as our life continues in eternity, we will have it in a place of comfort and peace. A place where we are told there is singing of joy, where the angels are singing, where the elders are worshipping. Won't you prepare to meet the saints of there? When the writer can make sure to meet, he recognizes that everyone has to do it for himself or herself. Yes, it is a personal thing. We must make the decision. And there are some decisions that we don't get a second chance to make. Certainly, one cannot choose to serve God in the grave. When breath has left the body, there is no speech or language in the grave. There is only separation based on the decisions we have made in this life. Death is like the teacher saying, pencils down. And then collecting the test papers. No opportunity to change what you have written or not written. You know, Samuel stone in his hymn, the church is one foundation, is Jesus Christ our Lord. Recognize that the life of believers in Christ may seem like a house with leaking roof, with rotting floors, being battered by the torrential winds and rains. And the flood waters rising. Samuel's own description of those who are the bride of Christ leaves much to be desired. Sore oppressed, rent asunder by skisms, distressed by false teachings and heresies, existing amidst toil and tribulation and war. Yet Samuel's own declared, Yet she on earth has union with God the free one. And mystic, sweet communion with those who rest this one. O oh, happy ones and holy, Lord, give us grace that we, like them, the meek and lowly, and high, may dwell with thee. Yes, we have pains. Yes, we have uncertainties. Yes, there are many things about the Christian life that we really don't understand or know. And yes, as Charles Wesley said, we will see troubles. We will have conflicts. We will have fighting to be out and fears to be. Yet Charles Wesley in the same thing could be clear. But out of all the Lord has brought us by his love, and still he doth his help afford and hides our lives from us. In confidence that there is hope in Almighty God. Let us stay under the tent of Almighty God. Let us live in the shadow of His ways. Let us purify ourselves as Christ Himself is pure. We do not know what we shall do, but we know, based on God's promises, that we shall be like Jesus, for we shall see Him as He is. Let us breathe. Let us leave. Let us endure. Let us fight on as those who have hope in Almighty God, whose word declares, do only that one, but we all live eternally.
as we reflect on YOLO and YODO, you only live once, you only live eternally. May we decide today to give our hearts to the Lord. So I invite you, wherever you are at this time, to pray with me. Mighty God, your arms are open to us all, bidding us to come to your feast. We pray, Lord, that even as we seek to enjoy the fullness of this life, that we will choose to enjoy the fullness of life with you eternally. May we be willing to give up the pleasures of this life so that we may gain pleasures eternally. Lord, may we give up what we cannot keep to gain that which we dare not lose. So God, we commit ourselves to you. We ask for your cleansing. We ask for your power and your strength. We ask for your spirit to direct our lives, now and always. Amen. I invite us to share our concerns to our God who hears and answers prayer. Let us all present our prayers to God, knowing that He hears the cries of our hearts. Let us in silence pray to God. Heavenly Father, like the sounds we pray, hear our cry, O God, listen to our prayer. From the end of the earth we call to you, our hearts are overwhelmed. Heavenly Father, lead us to the rock and the island. You are our refuge and a strong tower against the enemy. Help us to live in the shelter of the Most High. Help us, O Lord, to abide in the shadow of their light. Command your angels concerning us to guard us in all our ways. Deliver us, protect us, be with us in times of trouble. There are so many things that trouble us today grief, unemployment, loneliness, depression, the state of our country, the effects of COVID 19 pandemic. Every aspect of our lives, our health, our lack of financial support, the ravages of natural disasters such as storm and hurricane and floods. Lord, indeed, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but oh God, rescue us from the more we pray. Show us your salvation. If we pray to Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As we celebrate the memorial today, we remember that there is a feast for us prepared in heaven. So even in our homes, as we share in the communion, it is a foretaste of that heavenly banquet prepared for all mankind. Reverend Mulrain will lead us in the communion.
we follow the words of institution as found in page 96 in our prayer book. The Lord Jesus, on the night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this and eat it. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this whenever you drink it, in remembrance of me. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and sup with them, and they with me. Please join me in the prayer of humble access. Lord, we come to your table, trusting in your mercy and not in any goodness of our own. We are not worthy even to gather up the crumbs under your table, but it is your nature always to have mercy, and on that we depend. So feed us with the body and blood of Jesus Christ, your Son, that we may forever live in him and he in us. Amen. The body of our Lord, broken for us, keep us in eternal life. We take and eat in remembrance of Christ who died for us. And we feed on him in our hearts by faith with thanksgiving. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for us, keep us in eternal life. We drink this in memory of Christ whose blood was shed for us and we are thankful. Please join me in the post-communion prayer. We thank you Lord that you have fed us in this sacrament, united us with Christ and given us a foretaste of the heavenly banquet prepared for all mankind. Amen. So we bring our worship to a close. Let us join in the hymn for all the saints who from their labor rest, number 347 in the VIP. We will sing verses 1 to 3 and then verse 8.
receive the benediction. Now the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, with the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good thing to do his will, working in us that which is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever, and the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen.